What we'd like to do today is demonstrate how you can go about adding a watermark to your SolidWorks drawing. We've opened up just a basic drawing template here. And our first step, we're going to add a new custom property. And that property is going to be state. Now we'll go ahead and select state, and we're going to give it a value of draft initially. Click OK. Next step is editing the sheet format. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add a note. And we're going to link that note back to our new property we just created, state. So there you see we have it. It's linked and nice but a little small and probably not the best color. So let's go ahead and edit that. Let's go and up that text size to 150. And let's make this color just a light gray color. All right, so we're getting better. Now it's the size we need it. Maybe we want to go ahead and let's rotate it so it shoots across the sheet in an angle. And then our final step, which you'll notice later on when we add views to our drawing, is we're going to right click on it and we're going to select display note behind sheet. What this will do is keep it in the background always so that it won't block any of the lines or any of our dimensioning in our actual views on the drawing sheet. So we'll go ahead and click OK on that. We're going to save this sheet format. We're just going to call it landscape with watermark for now. And save. We'll save this new drawing template out. And we're going to call it drawing. And just to keep it simple, we'll go with watermark there also and save. So now we've got a new drawing template here and a new with our watermark. Now the reason we added the watermark and linked it to that value is once we finished our work and we don't need the watermark anymore, we can come in here and just select it again and replace the word draft with just the space bar. Now we come back and it's gone for us. Or if we decide that we want to use additional values for that, maybe we'll do a release. Click OK. We'll do a rebuild. And now we'll have release there. So it just gives us a quick, easy way to go ahead and change that value and have it update on the drawing for us.